I am the head of intelligent automation for CGI. Uh, essentially, it means that I work with software-based robots, and essentially they uh, replicate human-type tasks. What we're doing is so cutting edge in the market. Automation is like the big thing at the moment, but it's going to remain the big thing. And if Wales can be the hub for that, that's just awesome. Also, I do a lot of talks around uh, different parts of Wales, talking about what I think is the future of work and why I think automation is going to be so important um, in the future. In the IT industry, it's so male dominated and there's been loads of strides to make it less like that and get more diversity into it, which is why I go out and do the talks that I do. The fact that it's recognised, um, obviously people in the wider CGI business get to hear about it, but it also encourages far more women to, to get involved in STEM subjects and stuff, so it's really important. I'm the Head of Language Technologies at Bangor University. Anything uh, to get computers to uh, understand and speak Welsh. We now live much more online, um, the social media are more important. Uh, everything is moving into speaking to computers and then speaking back to you or into machine translation and other ways of speeding up the translation process. For small languages like Welsh, it's much more of a struggle. And so we decided we'd do something uh, about it. It's nice to have recognition and it's good as well for the work to be recognised and um, to have a spotlight on what's going on with language technologies and, and the Welsh language. I'm a lecturer in physical oceanography where we think about the circulation of the ocean and study the dynamics of, of the different ways in which the ocean currents are forced and how they interact with climate. I do a lot of outreach activities. We spend a lot of time talking to younger students to really try and inspire the young people uh, of the region to be more interested in their environment and to consider careers in STEM. It's a real responsibility to, to be a university lecturer. The education part of it is important, but I think the inspiration part of it is almost more so. It's exciting to see the students mature through the few years that they have with us to people with hopefully inquiring minds who are going to test the things that are told to them, who can decide for themselves how the world works. Typically telling people that I've studied astrophysics and that I'm an engineer is a little bit of a conversation killer. Um, however, I think it does break down stereotypes. Engineering and technology was very natural to me. I was very hands-on, um, but I didn't perform particularly well in school. And unfortunately, I didn't get the A-level grades I needed to go to university. I was very fortunate to get involved with the Engineering Education Scheme Wales. In 2012, I became the first female to win the UK Young Engineer of the Year Award. I now find myself at the Sony UK Technology Centre in Pencoid, where my team is responsible for developing the next generation of manufacturing system for Sony factories globally. I would be absolutely thrilled to win the Build in Wales category, and I would use that as, a, as an opportunity to, to shout about what we do.